everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome to the second day in uh, class one vehicle. As you can see, we're still in the DAF. I need to get on over, look, because uh, lane one's merging into lane two. That van did not want to let me in. Thank you, Mr. Transit Van. Very kind of you. He's uh, <laughs> made sure I couldn't get in, look. He's well up that car's bottom. There you go, EX63 LBV. Great driving, sir, great driving. <laughs> yes, we're uh, we're in St. Almond's, I believe, at the moment. Um, and I just passed a lay-by just now. And I'm pretty sure I stayed in that lay-by once before. I woke up, um, I was doing night shifts. So when I say I woke up in the morning, I'm, what I actually mean is I woke up in the afternoon and um, I had to start work again, sort of like around 5 p.m., 6 p.m. And I drove off from the lay-by and I'm pretty sure one of my brakes on the trailer locked up and um, it basically popped the tyre because I was off the road, um, out of the lay-by, and by the time I got to the traffic lights, the tyre popped, and then I had to try and limp it, and then another tyre popped, and then I stopped on the road as it were on, and um, someone had to come out and rescue me. So I was, blo I was blocking this road up. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, today uh, today's Friday, and uh, this is the second video uh, whilst in class one, like I've already said. The first video was on a Monday, the second video is today, Friday, so I thought it'd be quite good to um, give you a comparison of like how well I've done in the first week, so to speak. And uh, yeah, I've got to say, I've actually enjoyed myself. I sent to my boss yesterday, it feels, it feels like I've worked here longer than four days. Yesterday was the fourth day. I, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but it, like it just it's familiar. Do you know what I mean we're delivering bolt bags? Uh, that's what I've mainly been doing. I have done other stuff as well And uh, obviously that's what all I used to do. So it just feels familiar um, And like I've like it's something I've always done, but Yeah, not too bad Monday. We did uh, a couple of runs in Wales Tuesday. We did a couple of runs in Wales Wednesday what did I do Wednesday um, I went to a couple of runs in the a couple of builders merchants in the morning then i had to go to i think it's like villador or something to get loaded with um crushed aluminium cans and i was there for so long that i didn't have enough time to make it back to the yard without running out of working time so i had to do a night out wednesday night um and then thursday i woke up delivered that load and then uh, did a couple of other runs i think i can't remember and then today <laughs> Today, uh, what's planned for today? Um, so we're load we had to go get loaded this morning. It's currently um, early afternoon. Um, we got loaded this morning. It's a good three hour drive to our destination. We're still about 40 minutes away. Uh, probably won't get there till about lunchtime. And then it's gonna take an hour or so to get that offloaded. We've got a full load just for them. It'd be a three hour drive back to Swindon again. So we're probably talking like four o'clock-ish. And um, I think we've got to go get reloaded with pallets and then deliver it to a farm so um yeah that's going to be in this vlog if that's going to be happening today oh something's happening behind me oh so um yeah it's going to be a late finish tonight i think uh i've already uh made the wife to be uh, aware that it's going to be possibly a late finish today even though it's friday but that's part of the industry isn't it it's all part of the industry so um yeah um we just had traffic at the moment which is typical when you want to be getting a move on but uh it is what it is so anyway i'm going to crack on uh get to my destination i'll see you when we're a little bit closer uh we we'll get all this offloaded i'll see if i can get a camera set up inside the, the trailer or something maybe get a time lapse of it all coming off we'll see we'll see we'll see um but yeah see you in a bit Okay, we're nearly here. Got a truck coming down the left hand side of me. Just trying out a new angle, see what it's like. Might be rubbish, but uh, we'll try it out nonetheless. Hopefully you don't go flying away <laughs> when we go around the roundabout. That truck is still on my uh, left hand side. Just being careful, because yeah, uh, 
yeah that truck was uh flying a little bit to say the least right anyway so yeah we're just around the corner from where we're delivering to um it looks like because i had a look yesterday last night when i was at home and it looks like uh you got sort of like drive under uh an archway of some sort so that'll be fun start indicating right but we're not going to move over just yet until we know it's clear it is <laughs> heads to home halfords bends and beds where's that white car going we're going to be able to make it wilco m and s um what is the company name i can't remember what the company name's called something merchants <laughs> i'm sure we'll find it i pinned the sat nav directly to the uh to the place we're going to. Oh, we've got traffic lights down here. Traffic lights where we are offloading could be fun. Depends how far down they go. Still a green light, still a green light, committed. How far down do these go? No, we should be fine. Looks like we're gonna be fine. Lots of uh, industrial places around here, look, by the looks of it. Okay, and if, uh, if I pin the right place to the sat-nav, it should be that building just there. With the gate that's shut. Okay, what we're going to do, if we're just going to park off this bit of road here, look. Like so, because I think we've got to go through those green gates. I would not be surprised. So we're just going to park here. We're off the main road. People can get around us. Yeah. Brilliant. That'll do. Right, so I need to go find someone now. And uh, find out where we're going. I reckon we've got to drive in, spin around and all sorts. So see you in a bit. Okay, situation is this. They are... Uh, well, firstly, <laughs> they're on brake. Secondly, they want me to reverse in. I'm not going to have enough room to reverse in there, I don't think. So I'm just going to reverse out onto the main road again. Well, I say main road, it's, it's not a main road. It's very quiet. Reversing beepers are on, hazards are on. And we're just going to wait over here. So I can see when the burger van comes out and then I can reverse on in. Okay, there is now some cars here. But yeah, we're going to have to reverse in off this main road. We ain't got much other option. There we go, everyone is now waiting for me. I'm staying here for now. I think there's a lorry behind me as well. That burger van's still there, yeah it is. Yeah, I got away the uh I could well I mean I c no I can't really go on the other side of the road because then I'm blocking the, the junction. But I gotta reverse in from the main road to get in because of the cars that are parked there. If that car I don't know if you can see. There's a there's a silver car parked there. If it wasn't parked there, I'd be able, probably be able to spin around there and get in, but at the moment it's there so I can't. So plan is drive forward over there and then reverse back all the way in that's the plan like i said they're on lunch at the moment anyway so yeah a little bit annoying go away for the burger van to come out okay everyone's going through red lights because they don't care i'm being thumbed in that's good I, it is in gear There's a dumper on the left of me, where are you going? There we go. This is actually going to be one of the first major reversal manoeuvres I've had to do. This could be fun. Get 
lifting that up. Get it turned in on the left so we can swing it in on the right. If I can get this in in one go, I'll be well impressed with myself. Just don't hit anything. Go on the left. We're in. Cheers, mate. Yeah, if you get you sort of like go down, mate, and then move it over, there's a rack with some scaffold balls on it. You get your cab up there, we should be able to get around the back of it. All right, so you want me to move over to the left a bit, yeah? yeah my my right left. Angle, okay, mate. Excellent, we're done. Right, see you in a bit, let's get this offloaded. All good there, mate, yeah? Yeah, it should be all right. Sweet. Yeah. Got, got a little bit of pallets, but... Uh, I mean, you can go over a little bit more if you want, but I think we'll be all right. Sweet, all right, I'll get it all open. Right. See you in a bit. Well, start the forklift. Yeah, nah, it's fine. There. Nah, it's fine there, mate. All right, cheers, mate. You too bad. Right. As you heard, <laughs> he recognises me and uh, watches my video, so... Cheers for watching, bud. Appreciate that. Thanks for offloading me nice and quick as well. Woo! Right, let's get going. Just make everybody aware that I am moving by honking my horn. Not honking because I'm horny. Right, now we've got to drive all the way back to Swindon. Sat and have a say in two and a half hours back there, so it's not quite as long as I thought. I did say to my boss to be there for about four. Actually gonna be there. 20 past three, so yeah, not bad at all. Clear to the left, clear straight on, clear. Oh, no, it's not clear to the left, there is a car there. He's in my blind spot. Are you going or no? Okay. Yeah, there was a car in my blind spot then, I didn't see it until the last minute, and then it just stopped in the road and was waiting for me to go. Never mind, that's why you always look and then look again, like I did. Luckily I didn't go too far out. Just gonna have a quick swig of drink. Green light for me, but I can't go. Excellent, let's go. Let's get crack a lack in. I don't think my mid lift axle is up. Which button is it? That button. Still learning where all the buttons are. Um, I haven't needed to find it yet, but I can't for the life of me find where the button is to mute the reversing beeper. I don't think there is one. I don't know, unless I'm being stupid, I can't find it anyway. So if anyone knows where the reversing beeper mooter is, let me know. Let's go, 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 go. So yeah, we've got 117 miles to go now to get back to Swindon. Uh, we're going to get loaded with pallets. I believe, fully loaded with pallets. And then we've got to take it to a farm to be unloaded and potentially reloaded there as well. On them, keep going, keep going. So um, yeah, we'll have to wait and find out to whether we are actually getting reloaded or not, because I'm not sure. Uh, what I do know is the place we're going to now, although we'll be there for 20 past three, from what I've seen and heard, they take forever to let you in so you know we might not even be out of there until gone five o'clock and then it's an hour or so to the job so that's six o'clock say it takes an hour to unload seven o'clock shouldn't take an hour to unload but you never know an hour back eight o'clock <laughs> so yeah i think it's gonna be late i started at quarter to what time did i start this morning quarter to six 5 45 so i can work until 8 45 quarter to nine so um as long as we don't go over quarter to nine tonight, working-wise, we'll, uh, we're bright on the old working time. And in terms of driving time, I did half an hour this morning, then a three hour drive here, so that's three and a half, plus the two and a half we're about to do now. Round up to three to be safe. That's six and a half, seven, eight. Yeah, we're looking at, we're looking at less than a nine hour drive. So, um, yeah, worst case scenario, I might run out of working time, in which case, hopefully, someone could pick me up. <laughs> I won't do a night out on a Friday. God no. <laughs> I'll be single 
be single before the weekend even starts. <laughs> right, I'm going to get going, get some miles under my belt. Like I said, 116 to go now, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little while. Right, we just want to uh, budge over. You may or may not be interested to know that um, there's a company here on the left that um, I used to do some work for on the low loader. Yeah, just in there. <laughs> um, and they wouldn't let me film because they didn't they didn't want their uh, branding on the video or anything like that. So um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know to show you that. And that's Toppersfield in Hatford. Hatford, Hatfield. Toppersfield in Hatfield. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, I've actually had a couple of videos removed because of them. So, uh, I don't work for you anymore, so... Yeah, sorry, Toppersfield. <laughs> right, let's crack on, let's crack on. Okay, right, we're finally uh, just about to come off the M4. We had a lot of traffic at Reading. Uh, oh, there's a van on a the trailer there. <laughs> yeah, we were um, stuck in traffic for like half an hour, pretty much. We've not done too bad time-wise. It's um, the time we get to, to the pace we're going to, it'll be about quarter to four. Uh, we're going to Shep UK. I don't know if I actually said, but um, yeah, that's where we're going. I've just seen it on the right-hand side off of the uh, M4, and I've been given some directions on how to get in there as well. So fingers crossed we can do it all right. Got to take the second left, not the first left. There's an airline truck over there. Um, and then I've got to like put my reference in into a shed or something. I, I think it was like a blue shed. I'm not sure. Green light, mate, and you'll still go going across. Yeah. So um, I think one of one one was a blue shed, one was a white shed. I just can't remember which way round it was. I think it was blue at the beginning and white at the end. I think that's what what my boss said. I think I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> But I've um, I looked on Google Maps earlier, and um, you can you could literally you can see where you turn left, second left into the site, and then you sort of like bear around to the right, bear around to the left, and you sort of like it's all like a a lorry place to drive your lorry around. So there could be a queue of trucks. Um, before I even started working for this company, I was on their Facebook page, and um, I could see people who are doing the work. Um, at this place and they were there for like hours before they got loaded so although it only takes me a second to get loaded it might take uh, a while to actually get in so we'll uh we'll be on break uh, as long as we don't move then um well i don't know actually if we're in a situation where we have to move out of someone's way then uh, i might have to uh not have it on break because uh, i might need to move the truck but if i can like park it up and get 15 in then i'll probably do that um, we will need to get over into lane two, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet because we've got lots of cars behind us. Let all these cars sort of get past first. We will start indicating fuel is starting to potentially become an issue. We might need to get some fuel, I'm not sure. I mean, that car's indicating left anyway, so we'll indicate right now. Uh, there's a BP gouge just a, just like other side of this roundabout, so if I do need to get fuel, then. Um, I really don't know if I need to get fuel. So I might need I might put like 50 litres in or something just to cover me for the rest of the day. I'm not sure. But we're turning right here. Go around this roundabout. I used to work down here in Blade Grove before I was even a lorry driver. Before I even worked at Courier's PC World. Um, I worked at the Cash and Carry down here. Uh, I think they call, it's called Batley's. You, uh, you pull out mate, that's fine. Let's go. Okay, ducky. Yeah, I, I don't know why I said I think it's called Batley's. It is called Batley's. I also used to work at a company down there called EcoScience. <laughs> I did three months with them. I was on probation all period and then they fired me. Um, well, they didn't fire me, but I didn't pass the probation anyway. I think, I don't know, it might be because uh, I was young at the time and I don't know, I had a license to drive, but a, a van, but I was very young. I was like 19. Makes me sound so old saying that. Jesus, I'm 30 years old now. 30. Right, where's Shep? 
been in Neptune. I've delivered in there loads of times with containers. MAN are down here as well because I um, delivered trucks from MAN and picked MAN up as well. Where is Shep? Shep, 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 Shep. Shep, 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 Shep. Shep. No. <laughs> it probably sounds like I'm swearing there, doesn't it? Shep, Shep. Where are you, Shep? Can't miss it, I don't think. It's got big old blue signs. Have I gone past it? No, I think I'll see it there. There's Batlis, there's the cash carrier I used to work at. There's Anchor. I know a few Anchors. There's Batlis. Ah, Shep. We want the second one. This one here, then. Okay, the fact that there is a truck right there does not bode well. Okay. I think that's the shed. I think he stopped. I don't know. I don't know. We're on the road. It's a quiet area down here. I'll keep my seatbelt on. Lane one appointment only. Lane two loading, unloading. I got a reference. So surely that's an appointment. Yeah, I got an appointment. Lane one. Uh, what's that? Check in. Check in first. So yeah, I think I think you stop there, and then the bloke is in the shed checking in. By the looks of it. There's, a, there's definitely a few trucks in here. I'm going to be here a while, I think. Never mind. Is what it is. Yeah, Batley's is there. And I used to go down there to um, get into work when I used to work down there. I went there for a good year, I think. I was very young then. I was even younger. I was like 16, 17 when I worked at Batley's Cash and Carry. Enjoyed it. Cyclist, hello. Right, I'm going to go and <laughs> I'll see you in a little while. Okay, situation update. We're still here. Um, Quarter past five now. Got here at quarter to four, so I've been here for an hour and a half. Um, we're, st we're still queuing up to get in, basically. We keep going forward, like I am now, and then we come to a stop, like I am now, and then we wait for half an hour. <laughs> um, I'm going to be here a while longer yet. They reckon um, about four hours. People who I work with, um, maybe three hours. So I'm here for another hour and a half at least, I reckon. At least the sun's coming out, look at that. But, um, yeah, just have to wait and see. Leave when I leave. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get to where we got to deliver. So if I'm not out of here by quarter, quarter six, then I'm gonna struggle getting there, getting unloaded and getting back. And quarter six is in half an hour time. So I don't know what's happening, no idea. But um. Yeah, I got um, a 15 hour shift to play with, so uh, I can work until quarter to nine, no problem. It's just where where we go from here. I don't know yet, so we'll find out. When I know, I'll let you know, but at the moment I ain't got a clue. For now, it's just get loaded, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> right, um, I've seen a bit. I'm having a great time. I'm just chilling, playing on my phone, having phone calls with people, so um, I'm fine. <laughs> Stay here all night. <laughs> right. 20 past five. Right, see you in a bit. Right. We've got low air. What's he want now? Is he talking to someone else? <coughs> right, anyway, we're loaded. I need my phone in a sec. Put the reference in. There we go. Yeah, we're loaded. Uh, we just got to get out of here. Just gonna whack it in reverse a sec because I'm not making that corner. Just clear left. Thank you very much. I've never got out of here yet, so I've got to try and uh, figure out how I get my paperwork as well. I think there's a code round here or something. A machine I've got to put my reference in. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, is it that one there? Check out there. Yeah, okay, one sec. Let's go and get some paperwork. Because I'm, I'm putting the tablet yeah. 390, yeah. but my colleague loading 
364. Okay, yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah. Change, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no worries. All right? Yeah. Because a slightly uh, lower trailer, yeah. so less can go on. I don't know, maybe I need this one? No, I need two, one for the customer, one okay. for my boss. Okay. Um, unless you can print another one off. Yeah. All right? Yeah. No worries, mate. Right. Ugh. Now we're done, so that needs to go there because that's for Monday. See about on before we go any further. So he was just saying that uh, basically um, there's more to be put on but we can't put any more on because I've only got a four meter trailer it's not a 4.2 or 4.6 or whatever so it's, it's, it's lower down so you can get less on. Basic science. Is it science? Mathematics, whatever. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> it's 20 to 7 in the evening right now. Um, we got here at what, half three, quarter to four, something like that. So we've been here a while. We've been here over three hours. Um, and I don't know whether it's good news or bad news, but we're going straight back to the yard. We're not delivering it right now because it's too late. Uh, I'm going to run out of work in time. I started at, uh, what time did I start this morning? Quarter to six. So I can only work until quarter to nine. It's quarter to seven now, so I've only got two hours of working time left. Well, it takes an hour to get there. Um, and then another hour or so to get back to the yard. So, and that's not including any time getting unloaded. So I just, I ain't getting back to the yard tonight if I go and deliver it tonight. I have to find somewhere to park up as well. And, um, Pusey's a really horrible place for HGVs, low bridges everywhere, weight limits, um, it's, it's not very HGV friendly. So chances are I'd run out of working time whilst there, I reckon. So, um, which doesn't bother me, I could go and do that and then get lift back. <laughs> I don't really want to stay out on a Friday night. Weekend, baby. So, um, so yeah, we're heading back to the yard now. Um, it doesn't mean you're not going to see the delivery. You will see the delivery. Um, we're going to see it in a second because this video is not over. I'm going to go now, but I will see you Monday. So it'll be a fresh week. I'll see you Monday morning when I'm doing the run to the country lanes and uh, maybe what else I'm doing Monday as well. Who knows? I don't know. But um, for me, or from me on this Friday evening at quarter to seven at night, I'm going to say good night. Drive safe, stay safe. But it's not the end of the video. I'm going to see you tomorrow. No, I'm going to see you Monday. I'm going to see you in a second, all right? Chill out, see you in a bit. Okay, as promised, we are delivering this load of pallets. Uh, we're about two miles away from the destination, but we're going down these country lanes now. And I think it's only about to get worse. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been given like a specific route to go in. Um, I'll put it this way, I don't want to be being an Arctic coming the other way. That actually says unsuitable HGVs down there. Well, this is the way we've been asked to go in. This is the route that we've been asked to go in. I think I've actually turned around there before in the past because I didn't want to come down here. We've just got to go down here and turn right. It's fine. So, so far, so good. Don't panic. <laughs> um, ooh, my tree was sticking out on that one there. Yeah, we don't want to be meeting any uh, any cars coming out there, any other trucks. So I'm hoping we're not going to hoping we're not going to see anything because this is going to be a nightmare to uh, sort out. If we do, we both up there if need be. Yeah, this is not even the dodgy bit yet. Where we're going to, um, it looks like, depending on which map is more up to date, if I look on Google and you've got obviously satellite view and you've got street view. Street view shows a truck inside, looks like it's flying, river, flying side reverse in. That's what it looks like on the street view. But if you look on satellite view, 
from the angle we're going in, it looks like there's an entrance um, where we can then sort of turn left and drive because it can come back out and then we'll go back onto a bay or some sort. Um, but yeah, I don't know which one's more up to date, so I'm hoping it's the one where we can just drive in. the other way then and maybe possibly reverse up here somewhere I don't know anyway I need to go find someone and uh, I'll see you in a bit okay we are offloaded turn the hazards off let's turn down the heating a little bit got the aircon on just to clear the windscreen because it got a bit foggy in here right um yeah good news is we're offloaded bad news is we've got to go out the same way we came in which means we could see other trucks. Fingers crossed we won't. Uh, let's just lift up my mid lift axle. Okie dokie. Every time I do that, it, it doesn't drain the air up on the tanks, but there's only 10 in this truck, not 12, as in bar pressure. So as soon as I lift the wheel up, my seat goes down a little bit and it says transmission low air. But it's built back up again now. Yeah, here we go, going back up. There we go. Right, so yeah, we're on our way out now. Uh, it wasn't too bad, it started raining a little bit, so um, got a little bit wet, but not to the end of the world. We just got rid of just under 400 pallets or something there. So uh, yeah, <coughs> not too bad. I didn't even stop to look how long I was there for, never mind. What time is it now? 25, yeah, you want to slow down, mate. 25 past seven now. So I got there about an hour ago. Yeah, been there for about an hour. Thank you very much. Uh, next time, if you want to slow down, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> as long as it's not a truck, and, a, and uh, as long as there's a passing space for the car to park in, we're all right. We've only got to go on this road for a couple of miles, so it does seem like a relatively quiet road, so hopefully all will be okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's that? That's a tractor pulling something. It's got men in a trailer. Huh. Don't know. Maybe they're testing something out. No idea. All right, we've got that bend coming up now, and it could be stuff coming around the corner. Give way. All clear. Right, let's go around this bend. All clear. And we'll go down here. Yeah, so it looks like um, that wasn't too bad. I'm glad I did it in daylight rather than like during the night, first thing in the morning. I think it would have been a lot worse. Like I said earlier, if, if I did like catch up with someone and we had to get out then it would have been worse doing it at night time than it would have been daytime so yeah i'm glad i'm doing it now um it is a site that we may come to again in the future as well so like i said it's good it's good to know the road and the way in because uh we might be doing it again <laughs> all clear okay and then that's the worst of it over actually we've got to go yeah, it's not the worst favour. We've got to go through that unsuitable HGV bit yet, haven't we? Which, which is fine, to be honest. It's just like this. 
maybe slightly darker. Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet. Literally, I think this is like woods we're about to go into now. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit stupid coming down here in a truck unless you have to get down here. So uh, hopefully it's all clear. We can probably get two trucks passed by there. Just all about um, sort of looking and remembering how far away there is a passing space. There ain't many big enough for two trucks to pass. A truck and a car, yeah, no problem, but two trucks, it's, uh, it's pushing it a little bit. Okay, one truck can get in there if need be. Okay, I think once we get to the end of this road, that'll be it. We've got to go around uh, across the crossroads, don't we? This is the road that says unsuitable for HDVs. Right, here we go. Yeah, give way. And then it's, yeah, the sign's here. It says give, um, it says unsuitable for HDVs on, on this sign here. Yeah. There we go. Right, we want to go straight on. Clear left, clear right. Thank you. And then I, uh, I think that's the worst of it done now. Road opens up a little bit more in a bit, I believe. We've definitely been down here before, though. Not. Have I been down here in an Arctic? I don't know. I've definitely been down here in a rigid. I'm not sure if I've been down here in an Arctic or not. We're uh, 600 yards away from an A road. So it'll all be good from there on then. Nice river. Lay-by, yeah, that's definitely big enough for two trucks to pass. <laughs> Get one truck in the lay-by there. Could probably sleep there if we come after coming here in the future. It's a good idea, good, good to know that. Ah, and here we go, this is the main road. So yeah, because Pusey is towards the right-hand side, you go right to go to Pusey, uh, as it says on that sign, but the paperwork that we're given says you have to go in that way, so. Yeah, even though it says unsuitable for HDVs, that's that's just the way it is. But never mind. All gravy. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, um, I was going to show you that site because I knew that was going to be a bit sketchy, so it's good to get it in the video. Um, but yeah, uh, now I've got to go get reloaded because it's first thing in the morning uh, and do a delivery somewhere in London. I think it's New Malvern I've got to go to. So... Um, yeah, I probably won't record that because it's just going to be a straight drive there, straight tip, straight drive back, so not too interesting, but um, we'll see. Maybe I will and put it in another video. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.